Peace and blessings, everyone, and uh, great thanks to our very own Reverend Julie Moret for anchoring this space of unfolding good in a very powerful way. Thank you, Reverend Coco, for stepping in as well. And thank all of you for making, for sacrificing your time. The word sacrifice means to make sacred. So you're making sacred time. Now, we all know that time is abstract. Time doesn't really exist. It's the measurement of the distance between objects, and it's the measurement of the duration of an experience based on a perception or a thought. So since there's no distance in reality, because we're all one at the very center of the universe, and thought can stop, and perception can expand, time is relative. And so you're making sacred this particular space to allow for you to have a, a transforming insight and revelation into and as your real nature and being. This is what meditation is all about. As that occurs, of course, you, come, you no longer are under the influence of the world of effects and circumstances and situations of which most people are. There's something called social pressure. When kids are younger, there's something called peer pressure. And it's a very a relatively real thing for people to feel pressured by society, to be pressured by peers. That's because individuals haven't woke up to the truth that they're not in the world. They think they're in the world. But you are in God. You are living, moving, and having your beingness in a presence. And so while your body, while the incarnation is in the world, you're of a higher frequency. So does that mean uh, that if you're not to be influenced by society or influenced by uh, that which is outside of you, social mores, you can just do what you want. <laughs> no, that would be called living in your emotions, living in your feelings, things of that particular nature which has become quite popular. If it feels good, do it. No, doesn't mean that at all. You don't go from one extreme to the other. You begin to have an insight and a revelation into your real nature and being, and you come under the government and the influence of intelligence. Love, compassion, kindness. There is a direction straight from the eternal moving through you in a language, in a way that you can understand. So you can be in the world and not, have, not feel any social pressure. You can feel in the world and not feel any peer pressure. And you're not operating from your lower personality uh, substrates and just doing what you feel is right on an emotional level. You're operating from much higher frequency. Now, you don't see much of that broadcast in the world. You basically see uh, a world in which no war has been normalized. You, you basically see a world in which men are still trying to govern women's bodies, and uh, silly men are trying to uh, govern people's uh, sexual orientations, and things like that. You still see things that are bizarre and way out of sorts and have nothing to do with being in integrity with the universe. But underneath all of that, there's so much good happening that is not broadcast on the media. There's so many millions of people that are stopping and seeking to have a level of coherence around the fundamental harmony of the universe. There's so many millions of people now that are praying, that are meditating, that are visioning, uh, that are beginning to pull themselves up out of the morass of the human experience based on the sense of separation. And I dare say, because of the fact that you're sitting and sacrificing your time, making this time sacred for your own evolution, you're one of those millions of people. Now, you're not on the news. You're not being talked about that much. Every now and then, there'd be a good news story on, on some channel that has a guest on that talks about affirmation, talks about staying positive, talks about eliminating worry. You know, every now and then it, it pops up. But most of you are not being recognized. However, your connection to the presence, your sense of oneness with God, any insight that you have, you are influential vibrationally. You are influencing the world, which is the condensation 
of perception and belief and opinions and points of view and positionalities that have condensed itself into experience that's on display throughout the media, social media, etc. You're influencing that by rising up. Yeshua ben Joseph, uh, Jesus the Christ, said a very powerful statement, and now we understand it from the quantum reality, where he said, as I am lifted up, I draw all unto me. So on two levels, there's the great I am presence that's in the midst of us. We, we can feel from the depth of our being, I am. We're an emanation of the presence of God. I am is your identity. Everything else is commentary, you see. Um, but he said, I am, and he was speaking, of course, of the presence. He was also speaking, of, of, uh, of course, of his sense of enlightenment and connected with the presence of God. He knew who he was. As I am lifted up, I draw all unto me. Highest frequency wins. So with every insight that you have, you become more and more and more and more influential, vibrationally, sometimes not even saying one word, just being in the consciousness of being under the aegis and the spiritual government of the Christ consciousness, the Buddha field, higher self, essential self. You're under that influence, and then your frequency becomes influential. You're able to walk in the world, but to be of a higher frequency. All of this is occurring as you are giving yourself a degree of practice, developing a d divine a fortress of solitude around you, sacred silence, quietude, stillness, remembering the statement from Plotinus that Ernest Holmes once quoted to he or she who can most perfectly practice in action. To them, all things are possible that when you come to that point of stillness, the rush is gone. The busyness is gone. Perfect inaction. That which is everywhere being itself now becomes the activity of your awareness. And when you move into action, it's called divine, compelling, right action because it is an entrainment with the fundamental harmony of the universe. Do no harm, harmlessness, compassion, love, peace. All of these wonderful qualities that have been tampered down over the years as just words. But once you feel that connection, ah, oh, you realize love is it. Beauty, peace, joy, intelligence. They're real. They're real. For real. Cannot be comprehended by the natural man and woman. They call it foolishness. It must be spiritually discerned. And so you sit to have insight, to catch that which is real. Let's do this so that we can be this. back is straight, but it's not rigid. You can take the, the shoulders and bring them to the ears and squeeze every aspect of the body temple for a moment, including our face. A little breath in. Hold. Release. So as you practice the opposite for a moment, now let the body be in a relaxed state. Face could be smiling. It's okay. It's beautiful. Thumb and forefinger touching, hands upward, mudra. <laughs> Going beyond the egoic perception. Eyes 
lifted, sh sh shifted just a little bit towards the space between the eyebrows, tongue at the roof of the mouth to help create that connection between the energy flowing up to the base of the spine, up to the top, creating a circular motion of energy. If the eye is single, the body becomes full of light. establish a strong intentionality to wake up from our sometimes intoxicated sleep. The sleep of separation from the presence that's never an absence. Our attention is embracing this intention and the holy breath is happening presently and we're aware of it. And we are aware that there is an eternal broadcast shot from the very center of the omniverse in the mind heart of the infinite. It's perpetual. We listen with our entire being so that there's no static on the line. And we sit as if this is our very first time ever practicing the art and the science of meditation. This is our first time we sit.
ever heartful and mindful, attentive to your intention to wake up, your sacred breath that's keeping you present.
with every breath that you take consciously, you're becoming rich, rich enough to pay attention, to have dominion over your own attention. And your attention, your attention is embracing your intention to wake up from the sleepwalkingness of separation, paying attention to the breath as you sit silently and maintain an awareness of the present moment that is a birthplace of the eternal now. Be still and know that I am God in the midst of you, saith the Lord of hosts, saith the presence that's everywhere. Be still and let the knowingness of spiritual insight take root in your soul. Another moment of pure quietness, dynamic intentionality, and silence. Take a deep inhalation, release with the sound of ah, ah. Now allow yourself to be lifted in the awareness of gratitude. It's an attitude that takes you into the altitude of oneness with the presence of God consciously. The gratitude factor when applied as spiritual technology cleanses the perceptual windows so you're no longer seeing through a glass darkly, but you're beginning to see God face to face, the presence of God everywhere. Recognition. Oh, I see God through the same eye that God sees me, says Master, Master Eckhart. Gratitude is the way. In this dynamic sense of gratitude and recognition of the presence, there's a, a wanting, a, a sense of oneness with God. It's not blasphemy to feel one with God. It's blasphemy to limit God from being your life. We could say in the depth of our being, I'm one with God. I'm one with love. 
I'm one with abundance. I'm one with beauty. I'm one with intelligence. I am. And it is from this dynamic sense of oneness that I have the privilege and the honor to speak the word once again for each and every one of us, this global community that's rising up with a greater readiness of enlightenment and awakened consciousness. I get to speak the word for our health, our vitality, our vigor, flexibility, strength. I get to speak the word for our safety and well-being. I get to speak the word for our harmonizing prosperity, wealth, and abundance. I, I get to speak the word for the absolutely emergence of joy and happiness and peace of mind and bliss and ecstasy and a great sense that everything is working together for our individual and collective good and that we lean into this awareness right now. It is our awareness of this that brings forth the manifestation of it. It's no magical thinking. It's a mystical connection with that which is real until it becomes the activity of our awareness and then it outpictures as our life individually and collectively. And we become great influencers sacredly and silently by the vibration that we carry. I speak the word for each and every one of us, including this spiritual community known as Agape International, knowing even now that it is a bright light shining brightly on the hilltop of consciousness for the world to be transformed moment by moment into the glory that God sees. The promised land is happening now. And so it is. Amen. You just slowly open your eyes. Whoever you're sitting with right now, wherever, whatever part of the globe you're at, just whoever you're sitting with, just look at the individuals around you and say, now so be it. That's a mandate for us to actually be the frequency and not just believe in it. This is our opportunity for you to participate in something very sacred, and that is the act of giving sharing, donation, tithing, offering. All of those words speak to that you are becoming a fully developed being, which means you are generative and you are generous. You don't want to uh, move through the world for an entire human incarnation being a miser, being stingy, being afraid to give. No, you want to move through the world generous of heart, love, compassion, generosity, assisting volunteering, helping. You want to be in that, for, not a do-gooder, but a beneficial presence in all that you do. So we take this opportunity right now and we just quickly for a second turn within and we give thanks for whatever it is we have to give today. We bless it. We, we, we impute into our gift today the dynamic of love, the dynamic of gratitude, the dynamic of cosmic intelligence that says that the hands of the givers are never empty. We bless this community and all of its ministries and programs and projects, evolutionary collaboration, staff, and equipment, knowing that Agape has everything it needs to fulfill its mission of being a birthplace of the beloved community on earth as it is in the heart mind of the infinite. We give thanks for this and allow it to be so, and so it is. Amen. Now allow that prayer to guide you. For the veterans who have been sustaining our community, thank you so very much. Many of you are part of the Auto Tithe program. You can see all about that on the website. Many of you have uh, set your text to donate to give on a regular basis. God bless you for that. It makes everything uh, easier for us on the business aspect of this. And remember, there's a business aspect of spiritual community, and spiritual community has bills too. So you're assisting with that. And so this is how you give right now. Uh, text to donate. You can begin to give. It's right here on your screen. Text the word give to 424-321-6243. It's on the screen. You can use that as your mode of giving right now, and you can establish how much you want to give right now and the regularity of the gifting. As I mentioned earlier, you can go to our website, agapelive.com.
And you can see the banner up at the top, there'll be a word that says donation. Follow that, follow the instructions, and you can give right there on the website. And while you're there, if you haven't done so already, sign up for our free bulletin. Keeps you in tune with what's happening in the community as well as inspirational moments throughout the course of the week. AgapeLive.com. You can mail your uh, gifts in right now. Checks and money orders made out to Agape International. You mail it to Agape International, 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Again, it's on your screen for those who are sighted physically. You can mail it in right now. If you're on my personal Facebook page, if you're on Agape International's Facebook page, you can donate as well there. Just follow the instructions. So there you have it. Text to donate, website, mailing, Facebook. If you're on our YouTube channel, choose one of those modalities and give right now. Peace and blessings. I'll be right back. We have Reverend Julie Moret coming back. <laughs> Hey, good morning. You can visit agapelive.com for details on all items mentioned and all times are Pacific time. Today, Teen Agape meets online at 11.15 a.m. Click the Teen Agape banner on our website to register. Preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at 2 o'clock. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30. Both are live on Zoom to join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs. Email lev... Rev Leon at agapelive.com. The Crisis Support Clinic offers Zoom mini counseling sessions every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive details for your first come, first serve complimentary one on one session with a licensed practitioner, email crisis support at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large and anyone may attend. Monday through Saturday, we gotcha. Prayer at 8 a.m., meditation at noon. Both are live on Agape's Facebook page. And Agape Spiritual Community Gatherings meet Fridays at 5 30 p.m., connecting community in an enriching, inspiring gathering led by our practitioners and ministers, email scg at agapelive.com. For years, Reverend Michael has taught about the components of good, healthy living. Our spiritual life is enhanced with daily meditation, affirmative prayer, and fellowship, and open-hearted with open-hearted, like-minded people. Our mental and emotional body is purified with study, forgiveness, and high intentionality. And our physical body is taken care of with the exercise that fits our uniqueness, proper nourishment, proper hydration, and ideal supplementation. Speaking of ideal supplementation, Reverend Michael has finally re released Adapto Zen in partnership with Nutrarize. I hear somebody clapping off stage. Yay! Adaptozin is comprised of the various superfood formulas Reverend Michael has been taking for years to maintain his health and energy, all condensed into one product line, Adaptozin Superfood Greens and Vitamin B, vitamin D3 plus K2 Drops. Boost your energy, mood, and immunity. And give your body temple the high-quality nutrients it needs to thrive so you can maintain your health to live optimally, especially during times of high stress. Go to Nutrarize.com, click on Adapt. Zen and get 10% off your first order. Many blessings to you. Thank you, Reverend Julie Moret. Reverend Arlene Hilton, I understand, has a, a message for you. And uh, obviously today is the day in which they're celebrating my appearance day. So the service has been taken over by the staff and the board, so I don't know everything that's going on, but this is one of the things that's happening. Hi, Reverend. Happy Appearance Day, Reverend Michael. Yes, everyone, let's celebrate this day. I'm so grateful. I'm Reverend Arlene Hilton, as Reverend Michael stated, and I'm so grateful to acknowledge our beloved teacher, Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith. Yes. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try to hold it together. So we are all blessed to be in this beautiful Agape community, Agape International Spiritual Center, and we get to honor our beloved teacher, Reverend Michael, this day. This year, the celebration of our wonderful founder and beloved teacher, spiritual director of Agape, we take a moment to give appreciation for all and when I say all, I mean all that he has offered and continues to offer to the community. Every year, just as this year, Reverend Michael asks that instead of giving him gifts, 
physical gifts that we support the community and we give a financial gift. Your generous contribution will provide opportunities to share Agape's spiritual teachings with the global community, giving full access to the limitless power and promise of spiritual freedom. I know many of you have felt that freedom already. Spiritual education and oneness teachings are ultimately what will heal the challenges that our world is currently facing. During the past year, the demand, we have a demand now to expand and access all of our agape teachings. And it's significantly increased that we want to make a substantial investment in what it's going to take to offer access to our spiritual education, to our community across the globe, not just America, across the globe, and answer the community's call for teachings to be translated into many languages. And I wanna say this, this is a powerful time. Our teachings are being translated into other languages, yet these teachings translate into your everyday life. For me, what has kept me here 21 years is how these teachings have translated into my personal life. You've heard it, the healings that have happened in my life, the healings that have happened with the teachings here that I have been able to go into the world and teach those in recovery, to teach our teens, to work with our young adults and support them in their expansion. And imagine every single one of us, as the Native Americans say, as we learn, as we heal, it affects seven generations. So we're not just talking about now, we're talking about now and for the future, and you get to be a part of that expansion. Our goal during this celebration is to collectively gift $150,000 or more to Agape, above and beyond your weekly tithe. So as I give what I normally give today, I'll be giving more towards Reverend Michael's celebration of the day, which then goes back to the community. Who does that? Reverend Michael. We know this is the best way to honor Reverend Michael as it truly is a gift to us all. You can text. That's one way that you can give. You can text to donate using the number 424-321-6243 and enter your dollar amount and then put the word in birthday. That's how we'll know this is specifically for this uh, endeavor that we have. You can also go to agapelive.com and click on the birthday banner. On Facebook Live, you can use the direct links and information provided in your chat window. Listen, no matter what you give, $10 more, $20 more, $150,000 more, whatever you give, many of you can give more. Just know that we appreciate your generosity. We appreciate you and we're grateful for you. And so, Finally, I'd like to say that my life is the best life I've ever lived. Because of these teachings, I've been able to serve humanity. And I stand in gratitude for that. And I stand in gratitude to you, Reverend Michael. I'm grateful. Peace and love, Agape. Peace and love, Agape, Reverend Arlene Hilton. Hmm. Thank you, Reverend. If you missed her uh, talk, her presentation she did a couple of weeks ago, go back in the archive and listen to it. It's very, very powerful. We stop in this moment and we give. What do we give? We give thanks. We give thanks that the floodgates are wide open and the offering and the donations are flowing into agape, that it, agape is not only sustainable, it's blissful, blissfully prosperous to do a greater and greater work on a regular basis. We bless all of this and give thanks that from this moment on, everything unfolds in the most perfect way, and we allow it to be so, and so it is. Amen. So if you're clear on what Reverend Arlene indicated, you know, what you are giving in the honor of the founder, me, his birthday, is that uh, above and beyond your normal tithing, many of you, you, do, you offer on a regular basis, you're giving more, we only... We only have two fundraisers a year, two major fundraisers a year, one through July in honor of the birthday, and then the other November through December in honor of our anniversary. So this is our first fundraiser of the year. 
So above and beyond, whatever amount it is, you can give it in the ways that she described, above and beyond your normal giving. So contemplate that, think about that. If you don't know what you want to give today, think about it over the next couple of days and make a, a, a gift to your community. And already, thank you in advance. And remember, we do have service at 8.30, meditation, 9 o'clock service. And then today, it's open to the public for the last service. So if you're in the LA area, you want to come, the meditation will begin at 11.15 a.m. like we do on Easter, and the service will begin at 11.45 a.m. So catch those times. That's for the very last service. It's open to the public. Cool? All right. Let's stop in this moment, and let's allow this benediction to penetrate our soul faculty so there's an activation of our awareness of our oneness with God. We feel the power and the presence and the love of God in our bones. And we go forth from this day, from this way of meditation service with zeal, zest, that brings us to the zenith, the apotheosis of our dynamic good. And we may anchor heaven on earth and nothing less than that. We give thanks for this and allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. We'll see you at 8.30 a.m. Have a bright day.